hello everybody, welcome back to FTL Mod Roulette. Last episode, we did a run with one of the ships from the 4th Fleet, with what, which was known as Whiskas. It's still a brand of cat food, but whatevs, right? We did a win that, it's time to pick a new ship. Oh, let's do it, 3, 2, 1, 178. Huh, it's actually on there, I want to know which one that is. Which one of these ships was a lucky bastard to be able to show up twice already? Oh, I should probably hit this one instead. The Th Thanatos. Huh. Probably a ship that wasn't available. A. I don't know. Anyway. Three, two, one. 187 with all whistles and bells as far as overhaul mods go. Alright, let's see which one 187 is. Control G, 187. That is the Velocities by the Turbo Scrooge. Alright, let's hope it's still available and I'll see you when everything's installed. Alright, so there we go. Ah, gotcha. Ship was unavailable. I have to pick another one. The Dropbox links was no longer available. 111 also already on there. Hmm, starting to think something's wrong with this. A select between 1 and 197. Yeah, that's working. <laughs> Strange. 3, 2, 1. 136. Nothing but Captain's Edition. Okay. <coughs> well, 136 is... Rad 82's Junkyard. Huh. Okay. Uh, meaning we have to pick one of those. Um, I'm not going to. Uh, the reason for it being is that I remember this and it's not a mod, it's a mod hub. Which means these 20 ships presumably still show up in this list as well. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Yep, yeah, sure. <sighs> 3, 2, 1. 133. With all whistles and bells again. 133. The Peregrine Cruiser by Lemonade. Something like that. Alright. Fourth or fifth times the charm, right? What's our overall mod again? Uh, it was everything, right? Yeah, I think it was. Okay. Alright. This one actually did work. So no jokes anymore. Uh, apparently this was <coughs> released in 2013, which means it's Pre-AE, but Rad did she was kind enough to update it for AE, meaning everything should be available for purchase, except again artillery. Which means I also turned off the artillery with my super amazing mod that contains one or two lines of code. Whatever, right? Three if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Anyway. The Peregrine, which is apparently named after some kind of bird. Uh, after the Peregrine Falcon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but you know. Um, no little ship icon, unfortunate. Very fast mercenary vessel has been modified with two huge cruiser class FTL engines. It's used to smuggle Federation contraband. It's said to be able to make the Kessel run in 12 parsecs. Okay, whatever that might be. Um, sell fodder straight away. Ta da! <clears throat> no surprise, really. Uh, apparently, this has a four slot teleporter if you buy it, which is something you should really mention on your forum post. I guess I suppose you could say they do because it shows the ship layout, but. 
you know. Um, okay. Well, let's give it a whack, shall we? <clears throat> Look at the phone. Uh, quite dense, a lot of rooms, cut in the middle of a ship. Okay, sort of big layout. Mind control cloak. Cloak hack. Okay. Flak. Hull. Ion. Ion. So pretty much the same as last time, though we did get a new one. Right. Fire suppression and everything. Okay, um You there, you there, you there, you there. Big room here. Reason, you're useless, so you're just gonna sit there forever. You the engines are constantly gonna be powered, so you're staying in there, I don't have to move you. And you here because you're gonna be probably become a border. You here because it's the only room that's still useful to man. Ta-da! Okay. You can power up everything straight out of the gate. Wow! Wonder what we do to deserve that. It does mean our first shield layer will be powered up <coughs> without needing to spend more than fifty scrap. Are you gonna run for it straight away? Yeah. Look at me, I'm so great. I'm gonna run away now, thank you. <sighs> okay. So 30% dodge now straight out of the gates isn't bad. Not at all. We would like to get some better weapons going straight out of the gates though. That would be nice, you know, just... Here's a... Here's a Burst MK2 or another Burst MK1 or something. I'd like that. Well, that was stupid. No surprises, I would. Assume? Uh, of course not. I am well known to make dumb mistakes. Okay. Time to sell. Uh, welcome aboard. Okay, we got two people for a potential teleporter. Ah, uh, you can be on there, I guess. Just notice that the shields look kind of odd as well. <laughs> I don't really immediately get why people want to do a custom shield layer. Um, it looks nice, and I'm not gonna put too much problem behind it, really. But, I mean, for me it's not something I think people should pay much attention to. Just make sure your ship looks nice and that's fine, you know? And as expected, these things empty of oxygen ex exceptionally hideous. <laughs> it's normal. Now, where's my stores at? Ooh, yes. I know we're using bombs and missiles and stuff right now, but... Yeah. Just gonna stop a warning in the... Yeah. Shall I tell you the backup generators? Backup systems within your engines activate and take over for the weakened components when the rebellion has been restored. Huh. Cool. I'm still gonna sell it straight away, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but... That's a nice little touch. 
Uh, both of his weapons are going to be more than capable of uh, dissing out some damage. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't switch, but... Ta-da! Not enough hull left for crew killing purposes, I think. Reed, I kinda don't want to bother. Alright, there's our shields. We don't have a store, so yeah. There's gotta be a store around here somewhere, though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, this will be easy. All things considered, this ship is pretty neat looking, though. Kind of looks grainy, and I like that. We'll leave its weapon on so we can dodge some shots, I guess. Hmm. Well, the fast ship around, some say it can make it to sector 8 in under 12 parsecs. I actually don't know how long a, or how far a parsec is. Let's check that whilst I'm waiting. Parsec. Uh, we'll have to look at that in a bit. Ooh, combat. So that's where our store is at then, huh? No, it isn't, because we have a full sector thing. There is no store here. Oh, we already missed it. Uh, we will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it said we will never outrun slavers. Like, what? Um, the usual, I guess. Of course, the missile doesn't miss. Oh, no. Oh no. We don't really need our sensor, so you know the mans can probably take care of things. Probably. Anyway, uh, a parsec is a unit of length used to measure large distance objects to outside outside the solar system. One parsec is the distance at which one astronomical unit subtends an angle of one arc second. What? Oh, come on. Uh, a parsec is equal to about 3.26 light years or 31 trillion kilometers or 19 trillion miles in length. Well, there you go. <coughs> Pretty long. So that means the thing mentioned in the forum post actually makes no sense. Can make it sector 8 in under 12 parasecs, meaning that it can get to sector 8 in under 31 trillion kilometers. So that's 240 trillion kilometers. I wonder how you do that, bending space. How the hell did you get in there? And why? Are you kidding me? Did you really suck so bad you couldn't even do that? Oh, good grief. Not the NG! My god. Were you guys born dumb or is it... I'm pretty sure I sent that mantis to oxygen and not piloting. I must have misclicked somewhere along the line. Probably at this. It happens. Nobody died, so no need to worry. Uh, 
Mm. So yeah, parsec is a distance, not a measurement of time. Much like a light year. <clears throat> Loving the standard issue missile launchers, by the way. Loving it. Yeah, of course, why would the missile launch should go offline first? Makes no sense. But yeah, I'm getting annoyed again, huh? And why is the why are you here? Why is nothing saved? Oh god. Okay, let's do that again. You here. You here. You there. You here? Oh, look, it's an NG. How great. Uh. Lovely. You go heal. You go heal. You go heal. This is the time where we miss a shot. Or not. <laughs> yeah, there's no store here. That's ludicrous. much done with this file already. Not much... Um, Surrender is not an option. They got a drone reactor booster as well it seems. At least he's getting some minor practice in. Did I put the wrong guy on? Yeah, I did. It matters a little, of course, but you know. Focused on evasive is an FTL jump readiness, so play style that I don't typically adopt. Neither do I. <coughs> Could also be used incredibly effectively as a boarding ship. Mm. And that takes care of this sector, it seems. Sure. Uh, 
We knew that was gonna be a thing. But you know, now we can fight the dude at least. Ah, 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 ah. Lovely. I just love it when a fire never wants to go out. You're still dying because I This is gonna get a lot better once I get another weapon. Problem is I'm playing Cabbage and SMPK, which means good weapons are rare and far in between. to do with this ship of course that I'm once again in a full rant mode no it's it's just the game this time around but I mean come on uh, right yeah, and I was trying to run as well that's just fucking pitchy he probably won't succeed but you know Okay, well, let's hope next sector goes a lot better. I'm not going into a quarantine sector, that's just pretty much... Uh, socialize with the Mantis. Okay. No missile launcher, huh? Okay. Um, let's hope that they go for a room that can fit. No. Okay, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on, come on. You go as well. And yeah, no, it's not powered, but it probably doesn't have to be. Ah, level two. For real. Well, there's no complaining, it's right there. Yes, it is a level 2. Well, that means somebody's coming in again. Ugh, good grief. Get out. Kinda wanna kill the energy because he's being a bit of a nuisance. Of course, his bombs never miss. That would be too convenient. It's only 15% evasion, granted, but still. No, no enough to sweet talk me now, game. It's too late. Okay. Burst spread laser. That's gonna take like four power, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, lads. Okay. <clears throat> Just some weapons would be nice. Um, I'm actually going to gamble on a weapon too because I don't think it counts the Captain's Edition stock. So, yeah. I think. I don't know. Well, there's another one of those.
Can I even do this? <clears throat> I can. Is this a good idea? Hell no. <clears throat> but we're doing it anyways. Two shots and there, another one. If you dodge one, we should be safe. Alright, I think actually has three shots to him. How many do we... We should have five in this, right? Yeah, five. Burn all the dudes. How many do I need here? 125, and then I can get both weapons up. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Why do they always get three shots? Mr. Ram's so original. Well, that's gonna hit. Let me guess, weapons? Haha! <laughs> just as it was about to fire. I'm just too smart for this game. Another one in weapons. Way too smart for this game. Also getting a little bit annoyed, but you know, that comes with the turf, I guess. Comes with the turf. Okay. I needed that mantis for the teleporter I'll get if I live long enough. Well, I'm never fixing that room. Okay, can everybody who needs to go to medbay now? That's enough, isn't it? Screw it. Uh, go big or go home, right? Just 
had to be his son, didn't it? All right. At least we shouldn't be here for all too long. Still took damage, but at least the amount of fire was kept under relative control. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have anything to sell? Not that I'm aware of. No. Seriously, 150? Come on, people. Uh. Alright, well, we should have some jumps we can do here. We need two more power bars as well. Um, standard issue missile launcher. It's been a while, almost forgot how it felt. <sighs> I'm being sarcastic again. Ah, sarcasm. Because it's illegal to punch people. Both of them have the ship, might as well pick one of them. And it's one without combat. Great. Uh, wait. Despite the Baron area, traitors. Uh, it's a traitor. Why not, I guess? We're not really using either, so might as well get the one that gives us more. Missile launchers. Where would we be if those were no longer standard issue? Huh? Indeed, nowhere. Nowhere. I'm surprised we haven't seen any mine launchers yet. Those tend to pop by quite frequently as well. Sealed Secto. Uh, it's going to be how it's going to be. But sure, Sealed Sector is a quarantine sector. But a fancy different name. Uh, oh, yeah, I could have built basic laser weapons long ago. Oh, well. Support options. It's kind of odd that they allow you to do that without having a missile weapon or anything. <laughs> well, so be it. Let's hope we don't come across too many empty beacons, but you know. Um, standard issue missile launcher, level 2 shields. <laughs> Yay. Am I right?
Well, so far so good. Missile launcher, ha ha! Come on, guys, joke's getting old. Just saying. Like, ridiculously old. Let's give every ship a missile launcher. I'm sure that'll be appreciated. Guess he didn't like his visit. Good, didn't want him here anyway. Okay, you are just there, I guess. Close everything up. Oh, he came back. Well, so far, I can't really complain too much about anti beacons. Hey, missile launcher, well, a mine launcher, but potato, potato, right? Seriously, is it just impossible to be original in this game, or is it really just something along the lines of, you know what, we're just gonna give everything a missile launcher, and we'll see how things go? How can that not be a fun thing to do? Yay, that was fun. Let's have a look. Mm. Yes. has no missile launcher? How is such a thing possible? You are gonna have to move to weapons. Actually, no. It's probably best if you just do this. He only has one shield for the time being, anyway. In the meantime, I'm looking around for my bottle of water went off to. There it is. Ah. Good old fashioned tap water. So, how's this fight going? Um, we miss shots, I see. Anyway, um. some reason that weapon went online now. Nobody really knows why. Now all of them are offline. Nobody still knows really why. 
might be putting more in engines. Yeah, it seems like most of that stuff is going into engines, considering we can't hit them anymore. Okay. Not without a parting gift of a shot, it seems. Probably too late for this. That's what you get for not constantly paying attention. A kick in the nutsack. Okay, well at least you didn't have a missile launcher, right? Huh? Anyway. Um shields, right? How many? A trillion. No, nah, the door was pretty much still closed, but you know, the guy stopped shooting at it, but then the other guy just shot it once and it popped open like it was nothing. You want a refund, sir? Uh, would that really change anything? No. No, it wouldn't. Ah, missile launcher. You thought I didn't have one, did you? <sighs> now, what's great about this is that the heavy ion takes long enough that I will have to wait for this thing to cloak again. Yes, I willingly went for that weapon. I don't regret doing that. I'm just mentioning. We'll be sitting here for a little while. In the meantime, we just take damage like there's no tomorrow and accept that as a thing. Nothing you can really do about it. Just the way the world works these days. It's a good thing we're good at dodging mines, though. That's um, a real positive to all of this. Wait, I'm lying again, aren't I? Nope, say another mine because, you know, reasons. Again, we can't dodge mines, it's impossible. They're the slowest projectile in the entire game, but that's the one we can dodge. I know it has nothing to do with that, but allow me to my rant, if you will. Hmm. 
Well, that's another three damage coming in. Come on, reverse psychology. Nope. You can't dodge mines. It's not rocket science. You just can't do it, man. What you're saying is crazy talk. You cannot dodge a mine. So basically this thing, if it lands, takes out three shield layers. Notice that I said if it lands. Because, you know, it's almost like I knew it was not going to hit there. But that's ridiculous, right? You can't know that stuff. <clears throat> Despite being mostly right about predicting when stuff like that is going to miss. But, you know. Anyway, the idea will then be to get something in the way of hacking. Why hacking? Well, it allows us to guarantee a hit, doesn't it? And considering missing is the one thing we are really good at, it seems like a way to make it no longer so can only be a good thing for us so you think there's a store somewhere around here or oh look it's a mine launcher <laughs> yay oh no it's not it's an effector wow <clears throat> we may actually live it's not guaranteed if this thing hits shields then this thing can't hurt us There we go. Alright, he's got cloak, which means we have to sit around because he's going to cloak again right about now. Well, I was a little bit off, but still, could be worse. Okay. Oh. Alright, uh, cloaking, right? Sell this. What else did you have? We'll get some repairs. More than I would have liked as well, but you know. And that'll be good. Okay, we're leaving here a bit quicker, but I didn't think we would last much longer if I didn't head to that store straight away. Oh, don't act shields. Okay. Nope. Denied. Well, let's hope this hits. Take this thing out. The, this guy hits more, which means we'll get more experience out of it. And it by itself is rather unlikely to actually be able to do some damage to us. So. Yeah. 
It's mostly shield guy that needs it, so I could turn off my weapon, my engines, but hmm. I'd rather not. Well, he's off. Didn't even kill him? Oh, it did. Not surprised if you see the size of that ion blast. It's almost bigger than a drone. Alright, so I think next thing we want to create a basic laser. And get that online as well. Now he's trying to run. A little dip wheel. Is that taken out? Nope. So I accept your offer because otherwise you're escaping. Besides, there isn't another shot incoming anyway, so yeah. Alright, now everybody but you to the med bay. First come, first serve. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this one then. So thank you guys for watching, hope you're the series, feel free, so support by coming, liking, and or suddenly found already. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye everyone. That's not an recording. Great! Anyway, again, bye everyone.